Hey, I'm Roman with the HVAC School, and today we're talking about leak detectors. More specifically, Inficon leak detectors. Our friends over at True Tech Tools sent us over a really cool leak detector, which we're going to get to. But everybody knows what this is. This is the Inficon Stratus. Why do we love the Stratus? Well, the Stratus has a mode called cloud function that allows us to walk into a building and use the cloud function to read the parts per million of refrigerant that might be in that space. It allows me to walk around and actually find where that refrigerant leak is based upon the concentration rising or falling within that space. This comes in handy with large buildings, projects, large package units or rooftop units or even things in crawl spaces or enclosed spaces like attics or even refrigerant rack houses for commercial refrigeration. We love this leak detector, but here's the thing. We thought Inficon couldn't make anything better and they actually said, you know what, we're gonna prove you wrong and we did. Here I have the DTEC Pro. It comes in a nice beautiful hard case like this that you could probably drop out of a helicopter. They didn't like my suggestion and haven't made that video yet, but I expect it to come true here soon. In this hard case, we have our DTEC Pro. Now it does kind of look like an oxygen uh, regulator that you would use for maybe medical purposes and it is stylish. So if you're not rocking this this season, I might judge you slightly, but it's lightweight. It only weighs three pounds. It also comes with this three foot wand. Uh, that's actually a little bit longer than what you can see here. And this thing is a powerhouse. You say, why do I need another leak detector? This is just something else to put on my truck and to, to buy. But let's be honest. These are tools, these tools serve a purpose. So what's the actual benefits of getting something like this and why does it matter and when should maybe I consider getting this from my company? Well, first of all, where you get it is at True Tech Tools. Second of all, this thing has been supercharged. So we know the Stratus for its cloud function ability and it is industry leading. They said, you know what, let's go ahead and supercharge our leak detector and make it 10 times more accurate and two times as powerful. So the DTEC Pro actually is able to sense down to 0.1 ppm. The Stratus can only do one ppm resolution. So that's 10 times the resolution. Well, why would that matter? When I have a leak detector like this that's pulling in a large amount of air, we're worried about dilution on the sensor. And so with having a supercharged sensor like this, we don't have to worry about that dilution anymore and it becomes actually more accurate in the space. The other thing is the Stratus has multiple modes. Maybe you're not familiar with the modes or when to use them. And they said, you know what? If we give you a supercharged sensor and we give you it in a package like this, you don't have to worry about selecting modes. So there aren't any modes with the DTEC Pro. All I have to do is turn it on, let it warm up outside so it gets a fresh air sample, and then I'm off to the races. I can walk into the building, I can uh, walk around and look for my leak, whether it's on a rack house and inside of a store, or even on a roof on a windy day. So now you've seen it, right? You've seen me hold it. You've seen it compared to the Stratus, as well as the specifications for this, which by, might I add, can last up to 12 hours out in the field. If you're looking for a leak for 12 hours, uh, there's another video that we can share for you. This now needs to be put to the use. So let's go outside, let's test it out. We're gonna walk here around the office and see if we can find an actual refrigerant leak and show you why this product is amazing. All right, so we've got zero ppm here and we're here at our residential system in the office and hopefully there's no leaks here, but you know, you never know. So let me do what I'm actually supposed to do here. Wear it as intended. Let's take off our refrigerant cap here. Well, I would say um, that we have a leaking Schrader core here. Uh, Notice how the threshold goes down, unless I'm directly putting it on it. Here's the thing. We didn't follow the instructions and started outside, so whatever the level is in the space, that's what it's equalized to as the zero threshold. But what I've done here is I've taken off the Schrader cork cap, and I found here that the ball valve on this unit is actually, in fact, leaking. And this is something that's a common failure point within systems and probably should likely be changed. And the dead giveaway here was when I pulled the cap off, it went tss. But for that, you can see how much it picks up and how quickly. Usually with leak detectors, you're sitting here wanding it a few times, taking it away, putting it back, taking it away again, and just ensuring that this is where the leak is at. Notice how quickly when I just take the cap off and I set this on here, how fast the detection is. It's almost instantaneous. Well, why is that? And that's because of how powerful the sensor is, but also the volume of air that this leak detector is pulling across it. 
because of that, it's able to process that information in lightnings of a second to give you the readout that you have, which means accurate and live display of a leak, which is important when we're actually walking through the building looking for leaks. It's also why I love this. So let's keep looking for more leaks. We found one. How many more can we find here at the office? So we know how accurate this leak detector is, but there's an important function that's usually get often overlooked with most leak detectors. And that is understanding that I started this in the building like we talked about. So the accuracy of it is a little off. So how do I fix that? Well, what I can do here is I can actually go to settings, zero button here, hit it. Oh, might help if I actually hit the right button. Expose to fresh air and then press confirm. So we're gonna say yes, press confirm. And now what it's going to do is gonna reinitialize and look for that fresh air. So now that it's been recalibrated to fresh air outside, my threshold is now zero PPM. So knowing that when I go into the next part of our building here, if I get any detections on that, that's because there's actual concentrations of refrigerant in that space, not mixed refrigerant like we had from concentrations inside our other office here. So let's go take a look. Zero PPM, we've refreshed it. Let's take a look inside the building. You'll notice here we had a small spike. And so from this, it looks like we don't have any really refrigerant concentration in this building. Now that's the great thing about this, is knowing that I can trust my device when I'm actually leak detecting. So when I walk into a space and I notice that this starts to climb, like we're gonna show you here in our training lab, I can trust the results that I see. I can trust the accuracy of this device and understand that, yeah, there's probably a leak in here. So let's keep going. So we're here at my office. We've been through a few buildings. We found one leak so far. And let's go in here and let me show you exactly why I love this leak detector. Because again, we don't have to use cloud function. We just have it in the mode that it's in right now. And so even if I just take this, standing outside the door, and I take my leak detector, open into a building. Notice how quickly this climbs. And let's actually go inside and find out where this is at. Now you can see here that it's at an elevated level. And that just means that there is something within this space that is actually leaking refrigerant here. Now this tells me that I'm on the right path and I'm in the right building. Now the question is, where is the leak? We walk this direction. Notice here that the concentration might fall slightly. Now we're down to 12, now we're down to 11. This tells me that I might be going in the wrong direction inside this space. Now, obviously I might just go directly to the AC equipment where the coil is at, but for this, I'm gonna go this way. And as you can tell, it's going back up again. We must be getting closer to the source actually. 14 parts per million, 16, 17, 18, 20. Notice how quick the response is and how accurate that it is. Now here we are kind of fluctuating all over the place. Now let's go over here and actually look at what our possible source is. Wow, look how far away I am. I'm probably close to four or five feet from this coil. And my reading is 60 parts per million. And as I get closer and closer, notice how quickly the response is, quick the response is and also Right? The volume and amount. And you'll notice here, woo, off the charts. So now we're gonna go over this coil and see if we can find out exactly where that leak is at. There you go, right there too. So the thing is with this leak detector is it, it's power, it's accuracy, and how quickly it can detect refrigerant leaks is, uh, is unmatched right now in the industry. And you can see that for yourself, not only on this live demonstration, but also just walking into this building. I actually had to reset the sensor to equalize within the space because it wouldn't stop reading the 14 PPM of refrigerant coming out of the end of this Schrader core on this coil. This coil is leaking in several spots, but it's one of those things. As a technician, it's important to understand that you need to be able to trust the tools that you're working with and their accuracy in order to condemn a coil or even know that you're on the right coil in the first place or that a system has a leak. There's nothing worse than quoting repairs on links that don't actually exist. And so we have to be able to trust these tools, and I trust this tool wholeheartedly. And that's how easy it is to find a leak with the DTEC Pro. If this doesn't sell you, I don't know what will. There's a few features that we haven't talked about yet. 
And one of those features is, is the actual reports that can be generated with this DTEC Pro. Now, we've been on a journey all day today, going from warehouse to warehouse, building to building, looking for leaks. And because of that, from starting it to stopping it, we've actually been able to record that data. Yes, DTEC Pro has an actual app on your phone that allows you to connect to this and actually pull in the information from this as it leak detects to create a graph and a chart. Not only that, but they took it a step further and they said, you know what, let's give you GPS functionality to where the reports have a GPS timestamp on when you did the leak detection and where. So not only do you get a report that has your information, the client's information from what you put in, but also what that leak detection looks like over time on a bar graph or, or a chart to present to that information to the client to say, hey, here's where we started outside your building. You can see as we walked in, we went to motor room one and we didn't get anything. We went to motor room two, and guess what? We actually found where it spiked when we found the source of the leak. Here's the location that it's at, and I can provide that to my clients, something that we haven't really used a whole lot in our industry that is becoming more prominent. It's a, not just a, a, a fact check of what we did on that job site, but also it's something I can provide to the client that adds value, which is what this tool is all about, adding value. Finding leaks quickly, we're making those repairs, but also educating our clients along the way. Outside of that, now you might notice that I've had to kind of walk around and, and look at this like this and, and this, and it's kind of somewhat slightly annoying, but the great thing about T-Tech is they understand that this being worn on your hip is difficult to see. And so they actually have a phone holder that attaches to this lead detector that allows you to take your phone, connect it to your D-Tech Pro, put it on the phone holder, and view right the live PPM from this being reported back to the phone. That's how we pull our reports. That's how we actually view it. They didn't stop there, they went even further and they have it connected to your phone to where the Bluetooth on your phone and the audio from the detect, um, when you're, it's going off, whatever I'm sensing, whatever I'm detecting, the, the beeping that you heard will actually take place in your Bluetooth headset that's connected to your phone. So if you're in a loud motor room, a chiller room, wherever you might be where noise is a problem, you don't have to worry about trying to look at this at a constant or maybe even look for some kind of LED illumination on it. You can rely on what your phone tells you from the audio piece connected to it. So. This is the DTEC Pro. If you don't have it, I implore you to go to truetechtools.com and buy one yourself and try it out in the field because, it, again, I'm amazed by everything it can do. So, see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. If you're willing, give this video a thumbs up and drop us a comment. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay updated with all of our future videos. And as a quick reminder, HVAC School isn't just a YouTube channel. Dive deeper with us at our main website, hvacrschool.com. Curious for more knowledge on the go? We've got you covered. Tune into the HVAC School podcast, available on all your favorite podcast apps. And while you're at it, join our thriving Facebook group. Also, don't miss out on our free mobile applications, available for both iPhone and Android. We're all about community. Vortex by Tex.